sorry. What was that? Rabbit. Ponderous is just this huge, huge thing. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's a it's a creation of it's a creation of Brett's, um, but he's made comments on many occasions where he says it's like this living entity. And you know, I create myself. You know, and I do comics and everything, and um, I know exactly what he means. It's like uh, it starts off as a creation. It starts off as a few stories. It starts off as a handful of characters, and all of a sudden they take a life of their own. They start. They start writing themselves. I mean, you know, don't, I don't want to take anything away from them. You know, Brett's creative as hell. But the characters start to metamorphosize. You know, they, they turn into a whole new different thing, this huge thing. But I think it gets down to the essence of filmmaking. You know, you want to tell a story. Um, you want to tell your story. And, you know, the funny thing is when you don't have the money to pull it off, you've got your determination, your love of the art form, and, you know, uh, you're wanting to be true to the story. What is the Ponderous Universe, and how, how do you explain what exactly it is? Well, if you're watching, if you ever watch a movie that has the Ponderous logo in front of it, it, is, it falls within the Ponderous Universe. The Ponderous Universe is an elaborate uh, network of films. Uh, each one by itself uh, could be a standalone, where if you just go to the video store and rent it, uh, you could watch from beginning to end and get the general gist of it and go, okay, well, that was, uh, that was an interesting movie. When you start putting them all together, you start seeing this, this uh, very elaborate network of characters. Uh, there may be a, a minor character in, in one film where he or she is only in one scene. And then in the, uh, another film, they're the major principal character. Um, this this comes comes about from uh, something that Demarcus has coined uh, uh, retroactive continuity. Uh, within the Ponderous Universe, it's it's very important for me that uh, there's this very strict continuity. If um, if a character uh, dies in 1997, he has to stay dead uh, after 1997. But if the character if we all fall in love with the character so much and want to see more of him, we have to go back and create a prequel. Um, and that's where we'll usually find these great actors in one or two scenes and say, we want to work with these guys again. So we'll go back and create a whole nother uh, film so that these guys can have their shining moment. Uh, then you can go see a movie like uh, Dog's Life, where uh, in the middle of it, uh, two guys, the, the two stars, run over a guy in the middle of the road that's wearing a bunny suit. Then you turn around, you can go see Serial Rabbit, which explains what that guy is doing in a bunny suit in the middle of the road. Uh, so we will actually take a, a, a two-second gag from one movie and turn it into a completely uh, different movie. The Ponderous Universe, I mean, it's awesome as hell. I actually know a lot of the story. Um, it's crazy. It's sci-fi. It's drama. It's crime. It's, it's street. <laughs> it's a cool thing to part of, and it's something that you need to be looking out for. There's a lot of stories to be told. Um, and the stuff that we have planned, the stuff that Brett has planned in the future is going to blow you away. Um, you've seen all our stuff in the past. <laughs> yeah, look out for it. It's, it's going to be something really huge. And it's the whole ending of the thing is not the whole ending. You know, you got to stick with us through all the films, too, because that whole metamorphosis actually occurs over the movies. And um, when it gets to the when it hits it, the big climax it's just you're gonna be like whoa <laughs> you're gonna be blown away by it so that's what the ponders universe is to me